The Reese Report with Al and Laura Reese. Who's the enemy? Who's the enemy of Burger King? Why, that's McDonald's. Who's the enemy of Pepsi? I bet you know this one, too. It's, of course, Coca-Cola. There's some things in marketing that are easy to figure out, if you know what to look for. Who's the enemy of Crest? Why, that's Colgate. Who's the enemy of Scope? Of course, it's Listerine. Every brand needs an enemy. For Lowe's, we know their enemy is Home Depot. It makes you figure out what you are and also what you're not, so you can make sure you're differentiated from your competition. Always a powerful and effective branding strategy. Home Depot is, of course, messy and male-oriented. Hey, men are the guys most likely to shop in these stores, and they like to be home in a messy, dark, and dingy atmosphere. But Lowe's has focused on being clean, neat, and female-oriented. And it just so happens, women also like to take care of their house and do projects, and Lowe's is doing fantastic. Not by copying Home Depot, but by doing the opposite. Who's the enemy of Dunkin' Donuts? Well, there's several ways to look at it. There's coffee shops, which are the enemy for their coffee product. Shops like Starbucks, the dominant dog in the coffee world. And there's also the food segment for Dunkin' Donuts, the donut aspect. And there they're competing for breakfast against big brands like McDonald's. So breakfast or coffee, which enemy are we going to choose? Well, if it was my choice, it would be coffee. I think coffee is a hot, hot product. People are very interested in it. And donuts are somewhat on the decline, if not for our expanding waistlines. So coffee is the choice. And Starbucks, then, of course, is the enemy. What's Starbucks? Well, the Starbucks brand is slow, it's snobby, and, ex and it's expensive. It's very successful, but it's very specific, and there are weaknesses to the brand. Dunkin' Donuts is the opposite. Fast, down-to-earth, and affordable. At least that's the position that will get, build them the strongest brand going into the future. Here's a look at my local Starbucks, which I happen to admit I go into quite frequently as I like coffee a lot. Starbucks is slow, but you pay so much for a cup of coffee and, and want a very complicated drink, you, you're, you're happy to wait. And in fact, you want to wait. You want to get your $4 worth. And they're slow because they have so many different things on the menu. Ten types of espresso, two types of coffees, holiday favorites, frappuccinos, teas, you name it, they've got it in hot beverage, caffeinated drinks, syrups, all sorts of different milk, all made in front of you to order. That's the Starbucks experience. Dunkin' Donuts shouldn't try to copy Starbucks. They should try to do the opposite. Offer coffee that's good but fast so people don't have to wait. Really here, speed is the key. Speed's the way for them to differentiate themselves from Starbucks and I think in many cases offer people a better alternative, one that they're all happy to make. Focusing on fast tells your consumers you value your time. People these days never have enough time. The time is always something that's in short supply in the mornings. We all are running to work, and there's a powerful message there. Why are you wasting your time at Starbucks? But you can't just say you're about fast or about time. You need to do something. For Dunkin' Donuts, how about putting a clock in every outlet? Call it the coffee timer. It's faster at Dunkin'. Much like Domino's Pizza did the 30 minutes or it's free. That was very effective in focusing on their time and delivery. Duncan can do the same thing. Also, we need to change the focus to emphasize the time factor. Today, their slogan is, America runs on Duncan. While it's good, I think one small improvement could make it a whole lot better. How about America runs faster on Duncan? And we need to add more outlets. Dunkin' Donuts only has 5,300 outlets in 34 states, yet they've been around since 1950. What are you waiting for, Dunkin'? Let's move it. Look at Starbucks has more than 10,000 outlets in 50 states. In the last two years, they've tripled their size, really becoming dominant across the country. So to keep pace, Dunkin's going to have to move really quick and open outlets 
quickly. Duncan needs to at least match Starbucks in those outlets in order to compete effectively. They've also got to focus more on coffee. Forget trying to make breakfast sandwiches and other complicated coffee drinks. Focus on just plain coffee and be the opposite. Take a look how Starbucks handles coffee. They've got 39 coffee blends. Well, that works for an upscale expensive brand. It doesn't work as well for Dunkin'. Let's focus on one blend from one country. Why not the best coffee brand in the world, country brand, and that, of course, is Colombian, 100% Colombian coffee. How about Dunkin' Donuts spokesperson? They've launched a massive advertising campaign this year and paid big bucks to Miss Rachel Ray to endorse their brand and be in their commercials. I'm not so sure that was a wise move. I like Rachel, but there are several problems with Ray that I think make it a good choice to dump her. One is she's overexposed. She's got several TV shows. She's got books. She's got magazines. She's everywhere. Two, the Rachel Ray endorsement is really overshadowed by her major endorsement with Nabisco Crackers. And, you know, when you've got a celebrity that's doing multiple brands, the big brand really gets the most benefit. Take Tiger and Nike. He also has a lot of endorsements, but Nike gets the main press. Also, Ray and the ads, I think, distract from the real message. And that real message is about speed. Let's not be looking at Rachel Ray. Let's focus on Duncan and speed and be simple. A new spokesperson might be, in fact, Juan Valdez from Colombia. Let's emphasize the coffee and the credibility. People like Duncan, but not enough people know about it, and we need to reinforce their coffee heritage and credibility. Look, Gap has never been the same. It's many times very good to link up with one major supplier. Gap's never been the same since they dropped Levi's. Hey, they thought they could do it themselves, and they have been in trouble. They used to be very powerful in combination with that Levi's brands, and both brands, in fact, have suffered. So it's Dunkin' Donuts and Colombian coffee, a match made in heaven. And of course, the power of the brand is that it runs fat. America runs faster on Dunkin'. The emphasis on fast, fast, fast. It's fast coffee, and of course, Dunkin', you need to open those outlets fast, 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 too. This has been the Reese Report, and I'm Laura Reese.